Hello everyone, this is Deepak Raj from Team Food Chenix and we are back with the answer key and solution of general aptitude section of gate paper XE and XL. Without any further delay, uh, let's go to the first question of the general aptitude section. So the first question is, if theta is the angle in degrees between the longest diagonal of the cube and one of the edges of the cube, then cos theta is equal to. Now let us consider a cube, then in the cube the longest diagonal will be this one. So if you we'll consider one of its edges as A, then the value of its uh, longest diagonal will be root 3 times of its edge that is root 3 a now if we will consider the triangle x y and z so in the questions we have asked that we have to find out the value of cos theta so this will be our theta so we know that cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse so according to the question the value of base will be a one of the edges of the cube and the value of of hypotenuse that is the longest diagonal of the cube it will be root 3a so the a will be cancelled out and the value of cos theta will be 1 by root 3 so the option fourth will be the correct now the next question is a jigsaw puzzle has two pieces one of the pieces is shown above which one of the given options for the missing piece when assembled will form a rectangle? The piece can be moved, rotated or flipped to assemble with the above pieces. So in this type of questions, we have to go by the options and have to use the elimination method to remove the least significant answer. So if you observe the pictures and the options, the three things we need to consider to draw the correct answer. The first thing is, the first one is the height of all these are not same. So if we we'll see the options, in option 4, the height, this height, is same for these two. So we can eliminate this option. Now, the second thing we need to check is this part. So if you will observe the options, it is absent in option 3. So we can eliminate this two. Now the third thing we need to observe is the orientation of this part. So if we will check the remaining option that is 1 and 2, in option 2 it is flipped so the remaining option is the option 1 which is the correct one and which is perfectly completes this figure to form a rectangle move on to the next question a transparent square sheet shown above is folded along the dotted line the folded sheet will look like so we are having the four option and you have to select the one which will describe the correct figure. So, if we'll apply a tree and if we'll consider this dotted line as a mirror. So, if we'll draw the mirror image of this part in the right side, we'll get our answer. So, the image of this line will be like this and the mirror image of these two parallel lines will be like this 
so we will check our options two will be the correct one now move on to the next question if x minus 1 by 2 whole square minus x minus 3 by 2 whole square is equal to x plus 2 then the value of x is so we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b so we can use this formula here and we can simplify this equation so if you we'll apply this formula we will get x minus 1 by 2 plus x minus 3 by 2 multiplied by x minus 1 by 2 minus x plus 3 by 2 now if we we'll simplify this we will get 2x minus 4 by 2 multiplied by this x and minus x will be cancel out and we will get 2 divided by 2 and this will be equal to x plus 2 now if we we'll further simplify this we will get 2x minus 2 is equal to x plus 2 so if we we'll simplify this we will get x is equal to 4 so the option Two will be the correct one now the next question is the number of students in the three classes is in the ratio 3 ratio 13 ratio 6 if 18 students are added to each classes the ratio changes to 15 ratio 35 ratio 21 the number of students in all the three classes in the beginning box so here if you will consider the common factor as x then according to the question we will uh, write the equation so we will get 3x plus 18 and 13x plus 18 then it should be equal to 15 by 35 as per the given condition so if we simplify this we will get it as 3 by 7 so if you cross multiply this we will get 21 x plus 126 is equal to 39 x plus 54 If we we'll simplify this, we will get 72 is equal to 18x. Okay. So the value of x will be 4. Now, in the questions, we have asked the total number of students in all the three classes in the beginning. So, our answer will be. 3x 
प्लस थर्टीन एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स और वी कैन राइट इट एज एक्स थ्री प्लस थर्टीन प्लस सिक्स सो इट विल बी एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेंटी टू सो वी कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज फोर सो फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेंटी टू इट विल बी एटी एट सो द ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट वर्ड The remaining questions will be discussed in part two of solution series of general aptitude. Please have a look at that. The link is given in the description box. If you have liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also click on bell icon for future notifications.